What's happening YouTube? Today me and Jay are going for a hike. We're doing one called Stanley Glacier Hike. I don't think it's too difficult, but to be honest, I don't know too much about it. I'm actually going to look some information up here and I'll get back to you with it. Me and G just walking downtown to our car garages to pick up a car. Uh, pretty nice day here in Banff. Looks like it could be touch and go. It's either going to be really nice or it's going to rain on us. So fingers crossed, it's the former. A few people have actually been saying to me, Connor, when are you going to do a hike? When are you going to do a hike? So this is it for all the people wanting to see a hike. It's actually not a big massive hike to be honest with you, we've done much bigger, like there's Cascade Mountain there, being to the top of that, that's one of the bigger hikes you're going to do out here. I think this one's a bit more chill but we haven't done much hiking this summer, so good to get the legs going that right you. That's it. We're just walking up the main Banff Avenue here and it's absolutely dead, it's unbelievable like this is, what date is this, like the 12th of June or something. Honestly, see the 12th of June any other year, this place is shocker block. I know it's still only 9am, but even still, this place would still be mayhem at 9am on a proper summer's like day whenever this pandemic wasn't going on. But look, still a couple of people about, but really not too many at all. Any car in particular you fancy today, G? A wee Dodge Charger or something? A wee Dodge Charger could be nice. We haven't took that one out in a couple of weeks. Yeah, Light it up. Hopefully it's all cleaned up for us. So we're just in a place here called Second Cup and they have a toasted nut frappe on the menu. And it looks pretty great, I'll show you. It's that there, one to the right. So me and G, me and G went large. That's properly great. Our garage has like four levels. Sometimes it's tough getting up and down. There we go. We've got the... Uh, the Jeep Compass today? Yeah. Decent. Oh. Oh, I love the way when they clean them, they always buckle up the seatbelt. Just a nice wee touch that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what, these nutty shakes are absolutely powerful. You love your nut shakes. Oh, you? I love my nut shakes. You could, you could suck this up, Mongo. Seriously? <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Beats a Tim Horton's ice cap anyway, I can tell you that much. Robbie, what's happening? So, me and Jay are just heading into a place called Wildflower for some day. We like the drinks out of that second cup place, but the food's better here in Wildflower, so second coffee shop of the day. So, I got a grilled cheese. Looks pretty sweet. Jay, what'd you get? A uh, feature sandwich. Feature Not sandwich. Not sure what's in it, but Get a wee bite in there, Jay. Oh. Looks nice. Great. So that's us, we're finally on the road now to do Stanley Glacier Hike. Uh, I just looked up a couple of information about it. Basically it's just under 11k. Oh, there's the cops with the they speed camera. That spot they they love that sir. spot. Jeez, if they had a got, got us doing 140 a couple of days ago, they wouldn't have been too happy. <laughs> but uh, it's just under it's just under 11 kilometers. It's heavily tracked. It's ranked as a moderate hike. Uh, that's basically all the information I've got on it. Uh, I'll hit you up when we get there. Look at this bad boy. Whoa. That is a grizzly right there, folks. Absolute brute, as G just said. Oh, and he's on the move. Look at him. Whoa. What a creature. What an animal. We've honestly seen more bears this... Uh, this is our third summer here. Well, G's second, my third. And we've seen more bears in this summer than all the other years combined. It's crazy. Oh, 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 is he going to cross the road, folks? Oh, he's crossing oh, the road. Oh, there's cars coming. Oh, there's cars coming. Oh, the cars are stopping. Yeah. The cars are stopping. Oh, look at him just dandering across that road there. He's the boss. The king of the mountains. No joke, we drove on past that bear and we were driving for honest to god 10 seconds and there was all these cars parked in the car park. I was thinking to myself, Jesus, them cars are like really close to that bear. Next thing you know, the wee guard on the phone starts talking, please take a left and this is us now. So <laughs> the bear's literally just round the corner there. But here, G's got a mean left hook on him. <laughs> so we've got G's mean left hook obviously, but we've got this bad boy too, just in case. The bear somehow manages to take G down. Keep it on me. 
you spray that near you know, them, it's like pepper spray apparently. Actually, it's like 10 times stronger than pepper spray. And birds actually, their sense of smell is like, I don't know what it is, but it's like a hundred times better than humans. So you can imagine a big bird, get, it goes all up their nostrils and then they can't hack it, they just run away. But fingers crossed, we don't actually have to use it. So this is us just starting our hike. Apparently there's a wee waterfall and all up here, so it should be pretty nice. We've heard nothing but good things. Get the legs going. Should be a good one. So no joke. That there's the highway there. And the bar was on the other side of that and crossed over and started walking towards this way. Sketchy enough, like. See one more thing you have to be wary of whenever you're going on these hikes or just out in the wilderness in general in Canada. Mountain lands. Have a look at that. But see the thing about mountain lands is you don't know it's all over until it's all over. They stalk you for like two, three, four K and they're quiet, they're quiet like a cat. And the 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 pounce on you from behind. And before you know it, it's alright, too late. Burr spray, geez mean left hook, nothing will work on them things. They'll just grab you by the neck and it'll be all over. But that's the only comfort comforting thing about getting killed by a mountain lion. See a burr, a burr will just overpower you. And it'll eat you alive, it'll eat you from the guts. You'll be literally watching your own death as this burr rips you apart. Mountain lion, it'll be over nice and quick. Tell you what, big nut frappe milkshake and a grilled cheese isn't exactly the best prep before a hike. Sweating buckets here. See if a burr did come at me, I'd be slow on my feet. <laughs> Yes, I'm getting in the motherfucking project steps. I'm cool, I'm calm, you look at real stress. I'm strapped, I'm on kick. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers. Me and G, G would give Burr Grills a good run for his money. Tanya, look at this train, it's treacherous. I'm no big Burr Grills, he likes staying in big Fairmonts and all, doesn't he, G? Big Burr isn't as hard as Ray Mears. Ray Mears was the real OG when it comes to all this. We wouldn't see him standing in the Fairmont. He'd be building his own house. So we're starting to get close to the peak here. Um, starting to get a bit rocky and it's difficult to know where the path is. But uh, we're just gonna Keep going up and up as far as we can. So I think me and G are just going to call it a day here. It doesn't actually have like a necessary peak. I'm pretty sure in Stanley Glacier because, as you can see, it's just a big massive bowl, and like it'd be impossible to peak any of these here summits or anything because you'd need proper rock climbing gear, and uh, we don't have that. But yeah, this is Stanley Glacier. It's pretty sweet. There's I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a waterfall over there and it sounds really nice looks really nice too but yeah that's where we came from all the way down there pretty happy with that hike G what about you? yeah absolutely nice easy one for it to send exactly we'll do big massive ones as the summer progresses that was just a pretty easy one to break ourselves in fortunately no burn counters on the way up hopefully we don't get any on the way down too how long did it take us as well? oh yeah check there we started at what 25 past 10 yeah, it's half 11. Half 11, so just over an hour. I'm not actually sure how long it's supposed to take to get up here, but I'll Google it when we get back and let you know. And see if you're enjoying this video all the way up to now. Please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe! Okay.
bikes and stuff like that. Okay. I'm good. We live here. Oh, we're, you just live here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're locals. Oh, just no worries. Just if you want to check it out. Okay. Well, I, I hope you guys are like helping to educate people as well in the videos about uh, being distant with them because we both work for Parks Canada too. Oh, you just do you? Yeah, yeah happy so days. you just have sick jobs. Just that little bit of education, because because you know because we get you're gonna get you're you know those influencers. Yeah. You're gonna get people say, "Holy shit, look where my mates are from yeah. gone." Yeah. And if you could tell them, if they we get that message to them about protecting and helping and the animals and the Absolutely. nature, then our work at Parks Canada makes it a lot easier. It makes it easy. Just on our way down here. Funny enough, going down is always a bit easier than going up. Talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, seeing the way up, it's pure silence. Just all you can hear is heavy breathing. <laughs> seeing the way down, everyone's joking about having a laugh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a bit of Burr Grills 101 stuff. We didn't actually bring enough water on the hay just a wee bottle like this, but we've got lovely, fresh, clean drinking water here. So, here we go. What's that white stuff in the back of your bag? So that's us just getting back to the car now. Genuinely was not hard of a hike to be honest. Like it was wee buns to me and G. Uh, yeah, really easy. Anyone could do it. Uh, really good though, it was pretty rewarding. Nice views and stuff. Really enjoyed that. We've actually got plenty more energy in the tank, so we might actually go for a wee drive here and look for something else to do. So Back to the car now. So as I was saying, me and G still have bucket loads of energy left. And so we decided to go for a wee drive. We stumbled across this place called Marble Canyon. Pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> nice <laughs> slab. <laughs> Whoa. Woo. I'll let everyone in doing all their uh, key survival skill whenever you're going for hikes and stuff. Bring a pair of flip flops. Oh, that feels good. See you getting there then, boots. Oh, look at that there. Oh, I'm like a brand new bucket, as Marty Cunningham would say. So that's me and G back to Banff now, walking to a place called Burr Street Tavern. I uh, can't wait to get my lips around a nice cold pint and something to eat. Starving. Cheers, Cheers lad. lad. It's actually great. Got two big cracking pizzas, and then the main event is here dip. So one's honey and one's chili, and you mix it all together, and apparently it's great. Just gonna call a day here with the vlog. Hope you've enjoyed that. The hike up Stanley Glacier. Me and you are having a well deserved beer here, and we're gonna get into it. So until next time, YouTube, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Yeah.